Hello, and welcome to our Wellness Way Lab series, where we go a little bit more in detail about what your lab is and what it means to you when you see it on your test. My name is Dr. Patrick Flynn, and today the value that we're gonna go over today is CRP, C-reactive protein. Most of you guys understand, for example, that the Wellness Way's motto is, we don't guess, we test. Today, though, is probably one of my favorite tests to do because if you've been to one of our seminars or if you've seen us talk or if you watched another video of ours, we stress a lot about inflammation. And the reason why is inflammation contributes to almost every disease that we know on the planet. So it's something that we should monitor on a regular basis. Well, CRP is that marker. Now people say, Doc, well, went to every other doctor, went to, and I have cancer, I have diabetes, I have all these other conditions. Why didn't they ever do it? Well, remember, the interpretation that they're looking for is to pinpoint some specific disease. CRP doesn't actually look at any specific disease. It's an inflammatory marker. So let's go in detail so you understand a little bit of it that way. Well, when, when you have inflammation, the body, for example, ends up with some dead and dying tissue. Or if you have an infection, it creates inflammation. Well, what, in response to it, your liver responds and releases that protein, C-reactive protein, so then that protein can either bind to the dead cells bind to dye in cells or bind to bacteria to help it rid it from the body that way. See, CRP, for example, is a very, very important marker because the more swollen you are, the more dead dying cells you have, the more bacteria you have, the higher it goes. Uh, I, you know, in the range, if you're over three, CRP is bad, okay? But guess what? I've seen values high as 75 and higher. Now, that person is very inflamed. Now, it responds more acutely. I mean, the fact that people say, well, Doc, well, I've had my CRP done, and it was, was it, it was less than three. It was in okay within a normal range. Now, obviously, they say if it's above one, guess what? It's actually something that can show that you're inflammatory. But above three is when it really gets bad, and people say, well, doc, it's at 0.5. Well, one thing that happens is it's response when there's a very high acute problem. Usually a chronic problem, which is more of a long-term problem, sometimes CRP will actually start to level out and won't be as bad. But when you look at, for example, it specifically goes up under high levels. Now what happens is this, during times, for example, that you know you have a lot of chronic inflammation, there's other markers that you can go along with CRP that are wonderful, like ESR. Which, for example, if you look at the other Wellness Way series, lab series, you can see that ESR is there. But just remember, it's a general marker for inflammation, where the liver now responds so CRP can actually bind to dead and dying cells and also bacteria. Now the great thing is, see, when the bacteria actually do what? When bacteria in your body, see what happen is we have little Mr. Pac-Mans that are running around that actually create and allow and tell the liver to release this protein so it can bind to it. See, the body's pretty smart. See, so CRP, for example, done by other doctors doesn't make sense. But from the Wellness Way approach, we want to see, for example, is there an acute inflammatory response? Is there a little bugger hiding in you that your body actually needs to get rid of that way? And that's why I believe, for example, when you look at CRP, CRP actually gives us a wonderful state of where inflammation is at the body and know if we're more in an acute or chronic stage, but the great part is this, is when you actually find it, and you find it at a high level, we know that there's a lot of inflammation in your body. We also know if there's a lot of inflammation in your body, we know that you're developing illness at a high rate. So once again, C-reactive protein, guys, it's one of the most important lab values that you can have done on a regular basis when you go in and get checked, because once you find it, it's actually a great state to see what your body at. So once again, thank you for watching this nice clip video on C-reactive protein. You guys have a wonderful day.